All right, guys, we're back here. It is the final video of the night, the final match of the night, the final video of the major players watch along for WWE Crown Jewel 2022 on Pro Wrestling Central Channel. It is Roman Reigns taking on Logan Paul and his lucky right hand for the undisputed Universal Championship. And um, right now we're watching the video package that we've seen a million times before, but they for some reason, just have to show it to us again on the pay-per-view, just for the match. And, um, yeah, so this truly will be the main event and the last video of the playlist and the last match of the night. Jeremy, going into this, um, before, like, the interest in the match start, what's your thoughts, general thoughts on this? First of all, <laughs> I don't acknowledge him as the tribal chief. <laughs> <laughs> I only acknowledge him as the head of the table, <laughs> which okay. is better. <laughs> oh, they're showing, they're showing him training. <laughs> Why are they showing just him doing flips? Like that's gonna help him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> <coughs> and they call me Flippy Dippy Weird. They're really making a deal out of his right hand, like it's the end all be all of his moveset. <laughs> Here's a question. Here's a question to you. Does he how long into this match before Logan does Canadian destroyer? <laughs> I think you should ask Bad Bunny, he'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing along Jake Paul was the worst idea ever. If you watch the press conference, the amount of booze that came out when Jake came out was unprecedented. Oh, I, I, um, and then, and then it got worse when he tried to speak Arabic. He was. <laughs> that is not how you say those words. <laughs> Even I know that. Even you know that, yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes everyone's favorite celebrity. <laughs> Inverted commas. <laughs> Who the hell are we standing on? Are they going to do the thing oh, where they lower the thing, like with Bobby oh, Roode? They're going to lower their thing onto the stage? No. No. He was training with Shawn Michaels, wasn't he? Or is he going to jump? He's not going to do the zip line, is he? Last time. Oh, that's nice. Firework. Yeah, it is. It's lowering. Told you. It's, they're going to do the Bobby Root thing. They also did a similar thing with Alexa Bliss, didn't they? At WrestleMania one year. Could have. I think it was four. Yeah, WrestleMania thing four. Let's say, let's check something, right? Let's check something. Yeah, there's no way he's live streaming that on his phone. He did? <laughs> <clears throat> I was expecting him to come out on the camera again. <laughs> okay. but maybe. <laughs> 
They keep playing up the Floyd Mayweather thing. Is it because he was at WrestleMania that one time against the Big Show? Okay, that, that drawing's terrible. It looks like that Michelangelo Genesis drawing. That's... <laughs> what? That drawing was one by Michelangelo. You know who when he does that thing with the fingers, touch? <laughs> that was terrible. No, stop showing us that. <laughs> it looks terrible. Stop manhandling the camera. Don't you know that's Roman Reigns' camera? I said it. That's my camera. It's my company. It's my time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to gauge the crowd reaction, but it looks like a mix of who's and you want to hear? Oh, and he just you want to hear crowd reaction. Did he just do an Alexa Bliss pose? Okay, now we're, we're watching Roman Reigns' entrance and some sort of family tree going on. <laughs> Looks like Merlin stuck in the tree. And the usual Roman Reigns Pokemon <laughs> graphic where his beam comes flying out of the mouth. <laughs> Is he going to come out with the Usos next to him? No, he's not. Because Jimmy's hurt. <laughs> he can't throw up the ones. Even though he's got one arm, he can still do it. Oh, so now he's a special counsel, not the wise man. I want to see what kind of fireworks you give Roman when he throws out the one. Yeah, this is it. This is coming. So why does Heyman look like he's always praying to him? <laughs> That's how you acknowledge the tribal chief. Jeez. Look at. I like how he's waiting for the music cue. That's so Undertaker-esque. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Fireworks. Those fireworks were not like gunshots. Are they going to sprout them out from the top of the stadium? No. Okay. That was pushing it, wasn't it? <laughs> Did Michael Cole just say the outsiders? So, do you think this is going to be like a power game, like how Reigns versus McIntyre was? Because Logan's not a powerhouse, let's be honest. He was just getting fucking flipped. Logan's just stuck. Where is going to be? Yeah, yeah. 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 Those flips that he was doing in his training looked a hell of a lot like the flips that CM Punk was trying to do when he was trying attempting a bugs light a bug shot lariat. <laughs> and I think that's what's pissing you off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have a feeling that this guy is going to wrestle almost or try and wrestle an Indian. Try. I'm surprised when he broke the one there, there was some fireworks. Maybe he was going to do it in the ring. <clears throat> yeah, I think there's going to be more fireworks here. That's a cone in the barbarian pose. <laughs> Oof. Mm. They're really spent on fireworks, man. Yeah. That's all I can say. That's where all of the prince's money went. <laughs> I don't. Sorry. Oh, they rung the bell without Roman asking everyone to acknowledge him. Heyman's 100% going to do the intros for Roman here. Yeah. Have you noticed something about Roman's reign, though? It's funny, I said Roman's reign, so Roman reign. But, like, it's, it's almost like the Hulk Hogan match in the 80s where it was only special occasions that he came out and you saw him wrestle and made it more special. I like when you saw like the rock or stone cold with Cena wrestle it was like almost every week. It's more special now because he hardly wrestles on TV. When he does wrestle on pay-per-view, it's a special occasion because he doesn't wrestle that often on pay-per-view or defend his title, even though he's had a hell of a lot of titles in the last two years. He's been champion. Two hundred and sixty-five pounds. I wonder how much that is in kgs. Divide by because you know the Americans hate. What? Divide by two. Ah. Two hundred and sixty-five. Because you know the Americans just hate using the metric system. <laughs> Again, why does Michael Cole always say Saudi Arabia and not Saudi Arabia? Like, is it that difficult for him? I don't get it. I'm surprised Jake didn't come out, but I... I suspect Jake Paul's going to do a run-in at some point in this match. And oh, that's going to prompt the Usos. Yeah, I think it was. They were probably going to do that. Otherwise, they, you know, they would have come out with them. Yeah. But now, with Jimmy injured, or at least we, we, we believe he is, does that mean only Jay's going to come out and get his maybe... Do something that might almost cost Roman the title, and that's gonna lead to something on SmackDown where Roman's gonna be like, Jay, you messed up. Sammy is now Sammy Uso. Then I'm just gonna push Jay to the to the edge. So maybe you'll feel more Usi. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to look at the word the same again. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I hate when they do the shoving thing. It's like so childish, like they're on a the playground. Someone's got a sign that says Roman Goat, greatest of all time. 
I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, at least, yeah. Although, do you feel like once Roman's done, because he's gone as high as he can go, so eventually, once he drops the title, do you think he's going to pull a rock and go to Hollywood? Because to me, it looks like he's going down that way. Ever since his casting as Mateo Hobbs. <laughs> So we're at quarter past nine. You think the show ends at nine thirty? Yeah. Looks like yeah. Not as much. But it's, but I guess if you cut out all the preening bits, the show would have ended at nine. <laughs> yeah. I like Rain's interaction with the crowd there. That was nice. Is that the first proper lockup of the match? <laughs> no, no. By the way, how many matches did David Arquette have before winning the WCW title? Or was that his first match? Okay. I was just about to say, this is like Logan's third official match in the company. I think if he wins here. It's only second one. His third, actually, I think. Oh, yeah, because you can't WrestleMania and someone stands in Crown Jewel. Yeah. It's third one. Who did he fight at? at um... At WrestleMania, it was um, him and the Miz teaming against the Mysterios. SummerSlam was against the Miz, and now it's against Roman. Pass your bedtime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a nice split by Logan. <clears throat> Logan's not doing bad for himself. I'm trying to see if I my iPad. Yeah, guys, I'm lying down in the bed. Whew, so tough. <laughs> <laughs> Splash, cross body, whatever you call it. Paul looks worried. Why is it Paul and not Logan or Jake? Wow, did you see that flip? Wow. Now we know why, why they were showing us that on the, on the training videos. 
The velocity of watch the replay. The velocity on that flip. It looked more impressive. Buckshot lanyard earlier. Yeah, that is a buckshot lanyard, and I referenced it earlier on. They should have hired him to face Adam Page at All Out. <laughs> or was it double or nothing? One of the two. Oof. The, that must have hit him hard when he came down. Yeah, because the ref waited to take him like instantly. But but Logan Paul's really showing that he's put time and effort into this. Like his athleticism shows when he leapt onto the ring apron and then oh. did that spring board over there. I don't know what he was going for. Is he like trying to go for like a bomb or like a springboard clothesline? I think he was going for the face. As in or is he trying to go for his version of a springboard su Superman punch? <laughs> It'd be really cool if Rowan Reigns hit the Superman punch to win and then says, I hit the lucky punch. <laughs> Probably that's what will happen. <laughs> well, so hmm. so pace. In the last two years, Roman Reigns has really improved. I mean, all around, like the facial expressions, the movement, the wrestling, the promos, the charisma, the way he carries himself, the, his character development, like everything is just top notch. Yeah. All they needed was the heel turn and to pay him up with Heyman. And it was gold from there. That is a nice shot. That is a nice camera shot right there. They're definitely flying a drone. Yeah. Only a drone does. He can do this. Whoever's flying this drone is a professional. That's all I can say. Like he's getting the best shots I have ever seen in any sport. And that's coming from someone who's not watch a lot of sports. <laughs> Roman's just clobbering him. Clobbering him. Did you see that little post in the back that has Dakota Kai's name and face on it? Yes. There's a couple of Do they have that all around the stadium? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. I can see on the. Ah, I only noticed that now. That's odd. Reminds me of the uh, WrestleMania, what was it? 2006, WrestleMania 22. They had the poster pictures of all the legend wrestlers. That a lot now. Yeah. Wade Barrett adds really good color commentary. He does. I'm glad they brought him up from NXT. It was a travesty that he was stuck there with the wealth of knowledge he had. 
Although now that they have Booker T there, I, I would suspect that you would watch it NXT, you know? I, <laughs> Booker T is I have, I have, it's actually got considerably better, I'll be honest with you. Ever since it was terrible before. Since they rebranded, it's gotten a lot better. My wife is checking on me. <laughs> if you're still alive. <laughs> Oh, that got trench. Wow. Wow. Even Paul looks shocked. Why is that far? Damn. Logan just impresses me every single time he gets in the ring. As much as he's disliked, he does. He does his stuff. Man. Yeah. He does his stuff. That's how you know that someone's not just there for the money. They really want to be there. They really try their best. Yeah. He's not, not the Floyd Mayweather thing. Yeah. He's not just there for the payday payout. Oh. Oh. Blockbuster. That was close, though. That was super close. As that third hand was swinging down, I was like, there's no way. There's no way they're going to do a David Arquette. Except, except he wrestles way better than David Arquette did. <laughs> David Arquette now can go. I'm seeing yeah. And he can, he can Was that the lucky punch? I don't know. He hit Roman with his own Superman punch. A very ugly looking one, but still brutal. And he keeps up. Shit. Now, nah, Logan, he deserves more. He deserves more. He, I, I know he won't win the title, but they need to beat him. Like, he's winning over the crowd right now. And he's doing it effortlessly, but just his athleticism. Okay. He needs just some promo work, but he'll be, he'll be fine. He's actually working. No way. On record, tonight is the night that Logan Paul impressed me. I mean, he did well at WrestleMania, even better at SummerSlam. He just outdid himself here tonight. Even though I know he won't win, still, damn. Well, okay, I can see the reason that they wanted him to challenge Reigns here. Because yeah, Yeah. Wait, what? Wait. What? The crowd is standing up. Is he trying to do Shawn Michaels? Sweet music? Yeah. 
I agree with Wade Barrett. Logan Paul is something special. He proved it. Oh, Mrs. Superman punch. There it is. There it is. The lucky punch. Oh, there's There's another one. Superman punch. Two and seven, eight. But you saw the ref curl his hand as he came down for three, like he knew. <laughs> you saw that, right? I like how Reigns is playing this up. Yep. He needs uh he needs some grandpa. <laughs> He's been and watching matches of the rock notes. Yeah. And so now we So there's the posse that we saw from earlier and behind the barricade. Tall Sean Waltman. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, of course. Then, then Arabia. So it's got to be the Arabian Spanish table, no, not the Spanish announce table, but the Arabic announce table. <laughs> Oh, goodness, he would have that thing much match. He's not going to... This is straight up like an Austin Theory gimmick. Tyler Breeze, does that ring a bell? <laughs> he's live streaming. He, there's no way he's going to live stream himself doing a move. You can't be That's serious right now. No, that screen is not even on. You do it with the phone in his hand? Yep. He did. And and, and he didn't let go of the phone until he landed it. Nope. <laughs> that was a picture perfect. Crossbody. He changed direction in midair. Uh, here's the Usos. Are they feeling goosey? <laughs> okay, he's okay. up. Yeah, I knew. I knew those guys have been there for no reason. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Jake Paul to come out because clearly at some point he's going to have to. By the way, we're past the 9.30 point. Yeah, I just saw that now. <laughs> this is a really long show. <laughs> Do people in Saudi even sleep? Because they're like at just gone 10.30 now in the night, them. Yeah, well, we knew those guys were just there as placeholders just to get tossed around by the whistles. Yep, there we go. It was only a matter of time. He's dressed up like he's 
freaking going to a baseball match, a basketball match. <laughs> Okay, well, Logan's done well for himself. Jake gets in good, but let's see how well he performs. I could simply be underestimating right here. He hits just as hard as his brother. Those punches don't look like they hit hard, though. The one he hit Jimmy with wasn't as hard as the one he hit Jay with. Yeah. Did he just do a Rowan Reigns thing where he used to cock his hand? <laughs> Frog splash. But again, I saw the ref curl his hand. <laughs> I've got to say, though, this match is far more entertaining than Drew McIntyre versus Reigns. <laughs> okay. Who's me with that? Hi. Oh, okay. okay. It's only a matter of time. Yes. Businessman. Now, business. He's so gingerly making his way down. <laughs> A son of Rikishi. <laughs> you can see with this one. Yeah. What is this hokey stuff? Jamie Noble. Jamie Noble. Wow. Logan Paul is incredible. He should wrestle more. <laughs> All he needs to do is work on his promo skills and he'll be fine. Superman yeah. That what happens. That was... <laughs> we all knew he wasn't going to win anyway, so it's fine. Done. <laughs> well, is that? Let it sink in. <laughs> Let it soak. Yeah. Your thoughts. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. This they booked this one very, very good. And Logan Paul can go. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. He's incredible. Logan Paul proved himself tonight. He deserves more. I would like to see Logan. You know what I would like to see next? Logan Paul versus Seth Rollins. And put the US strap on Logan. Let's see how he flies with Tyler around his waist. That's what should be next on his agenda. Yeah. After this performance, he's won me. I'm a Logan Paul fan. <laughs> I said it on record right here. That was all I can say is that I, I, I never expected it. Yeah, we didn't expect that good of a match. They booked it well, very, very well. And Logan's, Logan Paul's performance just accentuated everything. But I'm pretty sure a certain guy, because this didn't this happened in Saudi Arabia, not in the Tokyo Dome, gonna rate it one star. <laughs> oh look, we got more fireworks. Some guy named Dan Mutzler. <laughs> And yes, I just straight up stole that name from K-Fabe News. 
So it's like I'll steal the name Flippin' Box. <laughs> Wow. <clears throat> that was amazing. That was amazing. The man, the fact that they worked that match. I'm still like in awe of how good this match was and how well Logan Paul just performed. Yeah. He just blew me away. I got. I wouldn't go as far as it, but you know what? I'm, I'm just because I'm in the moment. I'm gonna say it. He gave me the same vibes I did when I first saw Will Ospreay wrestle. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, this guy's incredible!" They're dragging this end out a bit along. You think anything's gonna happen? I doubt it though. Roman looks like he just went to the fight of his life more than he did with Lesnar. Wow. Is this vignette really necessary? Yeah. I have Uh, it's a recap of the whole night. Wow. Yeah, okay. Whew. Yeah, I think we'll cut it there, guys. That damn. Was that was damn good. You saw that? You so, guys, comment down below. Your thoughts, because we always we always love reading your thoughts and your comments. So just comment down below, like, subscribe. Jeremy, you know what to say. Do the YouTube things. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Or Bray Wyatt will come and haunt you in the middle of the night with his <laughs> Uncle Howdy. <laughs> Howdy, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> They will haunt you in the middle of the night. <laughs> and um, yeah, this, this was a great, great wrestling show. Wow. It was more than I expected it to be. I didn't expect it to be good, but it was absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable. Guys, yeah. Give the YouTube thing. Thank you for watching the official watch along of the major players of WWE Crown Jewel 2022 and Pro Wrestling Central channel. Like, share, subscribe, do the YouTube things, comment down below. And we'll see you again, hopefully, in some video. I don't know when we're going to meet again, but uh, we will at some point <laughs> if we get our schedules right. So, yeah, we'll see you guys down the road. And just as a tribute to a former major player, I'm going to end this the way he would have. Peace and chicken grease. Yeah.